On the Big Island, the county told us today as many as 200 homeowners and businesses have requested aid because of storm damage. Marissa Yamane spent the day on the Big Island and continues our coverage from Hilo. Marissa? Good evening, Joe. Over the past few days, we visited with homeowners whose properties got flooded. Today, we went to an elementary school here in Hilo that's also dealing with storm damage. They just started the new school year, and now they're having to take everything out. Building A at Waiakea Elementary School in Hilo is now drying out. A teacher came in to find her classroom flooded on Saturday morning and called the principal. This room was soaked, um, that room was soaked, and these two rooms was the worst. I was in disbelief. I couldn't believe, in, uh, believe what I was seeing. Four kindergarten classes, a special ed class, and a preschool class are now displaced. So this was our preschool room. Uh, when we came in, we saw water just from wall to wall, um, a layer of water that just sheened across the whole floor. And where did the water come from? Um, that's what we're trying to figure out. We have engineers here, but we're suspecting it came from that doorway. Um, just um, came from the up. Road? Um, there's a hill on the back, so it, we're suspecting that it came down the hill and it just flowed right through the building. The kindergarten classes are now having to double up. Instead of 21 kids in a class, they'll now have 42 kids per class and two teachers having to share the same room. The school has about 150 kindergarten students, and it's going to be a while till the children and teachers can move back into Building A. We're hoping, best case scenario, a month to two months. But if they find mold in the walls, this could be a, this could be a couple of months. Waiakea Elementary School has the most damage, but some other public schools in East Hawaii also got flooded. Um, other schools, Hilo Intermediate Shop took a, took a nice hit, and so did Hilo High School's main building, one of those old architecturally beautiful buildings. Um, Keao High School Building G had some cleanup and some recovery in the classrooms. What's your message to the parents? Um, we're doing okay. We're doing the best we can to keep the students calm and um, return them back to normalcy. Now, despite some flooding damage, all Big Island Public Schools reopened today after being closed since last week Wednesday. Reporting live from Hilo, Marissa Yamane, KHON2 News, back to you, Joe.